All right, this is just so nostalgic for me. Hear me out here for a second, guys. Johnny Blamer here, the faux wheel drive racer from Cars 1, has always been one of my favorites from that first movie. And I feel like a lot of that had to do with the fact that he was just in the last three to be released as a diecast publicly. And I say publicly because there was like this really weird European promo for him a couple years before his 2010 rubber tire release alongside Gaskets and Taco Man. They were the last three, obviously, notwithstanding Mac Icar, the Apple Racer. And he has a great, cool car and all that stuff, but I'm not sure if he would have been my favorite. But regardless, he is. He's the man. And I love this artwork. He looks so smiley. He looks so chill. And it is just like a sight for sore eyes. Like that picture immediately brings me back. That wasn't good enough. That picture just, where's my snap today, guys? It's a little better. It just brings me right back to 2010 when I was a little nine-year-old, just having a blast. And then they re-released him in 2017 and used this just punk, not good, gross art i don't like it guys i don't like it at all i mean it's fine i guess it was kind of cool that they got new artwork not really sure why disney and pixar reanimated him i don't get it they did that with a couple of the racers in fact like kevin Schiffright, i believe was another one that got new artwork or was it racing tire i don't know yeah <laughs> the clutch a racer did but here we are 2023 13 years after the art was first and then it was it that was the only time he was released with that artwork and he's back he is back johnny the man blamer is back with the original artwork i love it it looks great it's classic it's iconic and i am just enjoying myself right now and you should be too because we have a brand new Piston Cut Racer Thailand Variant 2 review. This came out of 2023 Singles Case J, which I just unboxed. I'll leave the link in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. It is by far one of the best cases in a long, long time. It has nine new cars, not including case G and H, which do include some of the cars in this case that are quote unquote new, but G and H are kind of MIA right now. So this is the best we got, right? And I'm gonna call it nine new cars because hey, that's what it is. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Mr. Docket, there are so many, like you said, new cars from this case. Why would you review a variant before some of the new cars? Okay, well, first of all, this is a piston cover. This is Johnny Blamer we're talking about here, and he looks incredibly different, although I think everyone's overhyping him a little bit, and we'll get into the reason behind that soon, but he looks very different from his original release here from China. This is actually the Motor Speedway of the South version, guys. There's only a 1,000 of these in existence, so I just wanted to put that out there, no flex. But yeah, this guy absolutely deserves to come out before Pit Stop Asaurus, who's just like a new little baby within the Cars universe right now, even though, I mean, it's a dinosaur, whatever. Now, Speed Cone, same type of deal, but don't worry. They're all coming, but Johnny Blamer, I just couldn't resist. I couldn't just leave him back there on that shelf back there and stare at him for another week. I can't, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't, all right? So you're going to have to put up with that, all right? So yeah, he's on the new, like, darker red packaging that they're using, which is basically the same as everything else. Let me just show you guys one here real quick for comparison. It's the same exact packaging just now instead of that white box being behind the blister. It's red and it meshes nicely with the rest of the card. Now, are they doing this to distinguish between <laughs> certain releases and other releases, even though I can't crack the code on that? Or are they doing it because it's just easier and cheaper to print? That is what I would say because you can also notice that they're <laughs> Moving the metal logo, which I thought was always kind of redundant in the first place, but the metal logo is gone and yeah, it hasn't been actually, yeah, it's up here in the right corner, but it was always there as well. So one of the spots has been removed and it was never, you know, actually, no, it's down here too. Okay. All right. Interesting. So it's more like the cars on the road packagings now that had it down in the corner instead of being right there. So they just moved some stuff around because on these, you had the three plus right there, and then they moved that now to being over the Mattel logo. So all right, everything is still accounted for, I guess, but they just rearranged it, made it a little bit more 
in uniform with the cars on the road packagings and probably is a little cheaper to print off just you know one color instead of having to kind of be a little bit more precise with the white box but yeah all right cool on the nice kind of stadium background i like to see it now everyone kind of went crazy in my unboxing video when i didn't show the johnny blamer card back obviously that was intentional because i didn't want you guys to see it i wanted you to wait until this video and i wanted you guys to all go crazy and dm me viciously and maliciously <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm sorry i didn't show it all right but there's nothing crazy on the back here as seen in cars we know there's a ghost car right there. I have no idea why they left a spot there, but they're doing that on a couple of cars these days. Anyways, you have Greg Candyman who is coming. Now he has already been released from Thailand, but it does look like they might be recoloring him to be a little bit lighter brown, more so orange now. Of course, you have Misty Motocrafts who is on her way. Actually, she's in case J. What am I saying? She's on her way in terms of I will be reviewing her soon. We have Krusty Roder who's out as a single. Last year was released in a two pack. Fillmore Lizzie and Dexter Hoover is coming back in the next case, Case K, with a green flag now instead of the checkered one that he was released with last year, but he still has been released from Thailand with the green flag, so don't get too crazy excited about it. I'll be right back with GB all opened up. JB, there you go. He looks awesome out of the package, and yeah, quite a bit different from his original release. He's a little taller now, and obviously the eyes are quite a bit altered. However, I think people, like I said, are blowing it a little bit out of proportion because the reason why it looks so, so different is because they just simply omitted the black eyeliner. That's it. And yeah, this eyelid kind of flares up a little bit more and it kind of burrows inward so it is different with even with the black eyeliner but look at Davy Apex here just kind of imagine what he'd look like with the black eyeliner again it would be different absolutely no denying that but I think people are just kind of overstating how different he is because the black eyeliner has just simply been omitted. That's one thing and it does kind of create a big difference. And it is weird. I feel like they almost forgot to because they've done it on the tile and variants of other similar Piston Cup racers like Winford Bradford Rufford here and Davey Apex. They're all in the same model group of Piston Cup racer and yet they... <laughs> now Johnny has a completely kind of different vibe going for himself and the black windshield outline is way thinner as well it doesn't even look as glossy so quite a few changes for sure and you guys can determine whether they're good or bad but we're going to do a side by side comparison here well first let me show johnny from the movie piston cup Dynaco 400 racer nothing too exciting i mean in terms of prominence in the movie I feel like a lot more people, you know, attribute Nightway, Leakless, and RPM to be some of the more prominent racers. Really, again, that's because they were released first and have been released more than everyone else. Johnny Blamer could have been the Leakless. Like, he could have been released in 2006. I don't know why they necessarily chose the ones they did to release early on. Some of them, yeah, were featured a little bit more prominently. Leakless, No Stall, they were up there. I think Nightwade, you know, had a couple scenes. Again, Octane Gain was in there. They all had like a little scene during the crash sequence, of course. No Stall and Leakless got pushed on top of each other. Anyways, 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 all I'm trying to say is that our perception of the Piston Cup racers and a lot of things has been shaped by how Mattel has decided to release them. I just love to think there's a multiverse, there's like a different universe out there where in 2006 they released, let's say, Taco Mint and Phobia Drive instead of Nitroid and Leakless. Like literally our perception of the entire world changes. The science is different, gravity is different, it's not 9.8, I mean everything is just crazy different. But you guys know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Get a little carried away today, but it's true though. Think about it. It's all bias. It's, I mean, we're all victims of it. Obviously, even myself, like I said, he is still a great pissing up racer on his own though. But yeah, 
The hood decals are very different and I'm very kind of disappointed with the graininess of Thailand's <laughs> four wheel drive dirt decals logo here. I mean, let's take a peek here. It's not horrible. Dirt decals for urban SUVs just like off road. It's just way, way clearer on the Chinese version. It's not even close, guys. And also the black outline around all of the text is way thicker. It's almost non-existent here. And so if you're going to have blurry decals, you need to have some sort of outline to make them a little bit more visible. So that's a blunder on their part. The tire tracks are also not as thick. They aren't as dark. So again, just kind of some weird changes. This hood piece is like all engraved, like there's a line going around all of it with the bolts. Before, well, I guess they did do that as well on the Chinese version. It's just a little bit more defined here on the Chinese one. Four wheel drive is one of the few racers, does not have a grill slash mustache. You have 54 there, taillights, looks pretty solid. You can even just look at the green. You could tell that that's a grainier concentration than this solid green here, solid blue. Everything does look a little Tylenified, if you guys know what I mean. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at these contingency sponsors. This is bad, guys. I'm sorry. I was excited for him, but Tylen just has still not found their footing with these decals, and <laughs> they probably never will at this point. I mean, you just look at all this here. It looks like a clump, especially once you get down here. They do have these now dirt splatters that they added, bam and bam. They are way more prominent than they were before. Like you could see here, it's like behind the sponsors. You can see that one barely there, but now it's on top of all the sponsors. So you can't even see Leakless there. You can't even see Clutch Aid and Retread because it's blocked out by the mud splatter. So that's weird. I mean, just look at that. That is crystal clear. And now I feel like I'm 80 years old with macular degeneration. You got a couple little trees here up below or to the front of the tire. And that transitions into the full landscape here. You got the mountains in the background, the snowy glacier. Just way more detailed though and clearer on the Chinese version. Now this text doesn't look too bad for urban SUVs, four wheel drive through decals. And you got the black outline and all that stuff. It looks pretty solid, pretty comparable, not as good, but it's serviceable. Why couldn't they do that there on the hood? That's like your main focal point. This needs to be, if anything's gonna be bad, it should be this or that, not the hood, man. What I do like though are the tires and the rims, nice gray kind of charcoal colored wheels and a thick black light your tire s14a made in thailand during the 14th week of the year at the a factory so that's cool the roof looks pretty good again the tire tracks just aren't as thick 54 54 same font just a little bit clearer on the chinese version you have thinner roof bars or window bars opaque windows now instead of having transparent ones obviously you can not really still see through these ones but that's because you're looking straight at a dark interior piece otherwise i mean this is basically crystal clear you could see through it you're just looking at something dark whereas these windows are completely opaque if that makes sense you got the little four wheel drive text there on the back it's got the same problem that we've been talking about now the back here looks pretty good, although they did change it pretty good. So <laughs> on the Thailand version now, it's just all completely snowy. It's like you're in a blizzard. Whereas before you had the forest at the bottom and then sky, nice blue sky at the top. And yeah, now it's just, it's blizzard whiteout conditions here for the guy. Mud, sand, trees, snow <laughs> there's a nice little blue sky so that's interesting not really sure why they did that maybe again to make it easier because the spoiler is white there at the top but see how intricate this was you had the top half of the spoiler white the bottom half blue so i don't know i'm kind of disappointed with this 
I thought it was going to be better. I was excited and I'm a little disappointed, guys. I'm a little saddened. I'm happy though that they changed up the expression. It makes it worth buying. And since I'm going to buy it anyways, it's like, oh yeah, I actually have a reason for getting this. Now some people might say, oh, not getting any Thailand variants if I have the Chinese one. And that totally makes sense. I totally gotcha. But hey, there might be a smidge more of a reason to get this one than like the Davey Apex one or the Dave Alternators, whatever the hell they call them these days. But yeah, I mean, he is a little bit taller. You can see that. He might be a little bit narrower as well. I think the shape of him looks better because he looks more compact. This looks a little flattened, if you know what I mean. Doesn't look quite as racer-esque. This just looks a little bit more aerodynamic. That's cool. You know, I'm happy that he's back. I just wish, man, that Thailand could figure out their decals. Oh, goodness gracious. But that is all I have for you guys. I want to direct you over to my team four wheel drive video that I did recently. I'll leave the link in the description below. And hopefully the card suggestion pop up as well somewhere in there. It might not be at that exact moment, but you know what I mean. It's up there. Just click on it where I review everything that you're seeing here. This factory custom crew chief, the pity here, the next gen Herb Kerbler, Tommy Highbanks, who is the one who replaced Johnny, and then Tommy was replaced by Herb. We got the four wheel drive hauler here from Jim Scavenger. We got everything over here. We got tool cart. We have a next gen Herb Kerbler four wheel drive hauler. So the team is set. Don't need anything else for this team. I am good to go. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Do you prefer the Chinese version that's squeezing here in or the new Thailand version? I'm sure answers will vary, although I think it's a pretty clear cut decision. The Chinese one is just simply better, better decals, more accurate. Maybe the expression's not quite as good, you think? That might be a fair criticism. The shape might be a little bit better for Thailand, but. And know, ultimately it comes down to what you value in a car. And yeah, guys, as per usual, thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon for another video, whichever one it may be. I think it's maybe Nile Speedco next and then Rumbler McQueen, maybe, I think. I set the order for it the other day. It was the hardest decision in my life. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Just sweating at my desk like, oh my gosh, right? Figured it out though, hopefully you like it, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye now.